guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very interesting one because I am going to be trying the 24 hour reading vlog. This is a trend that's everywhere all over the place and I've never done it. So I'm really hoping I accomplish this. You guys will know by the end of this video, but I feel like I may have kind of messed it up because I feel like I should have woken up and then after a full night's of rest, then filmed it, but I'm actually going to be up for more than 24 hours because it is currently 7.39, Tuesday, uh, June 21st, and I'm gonna try to stay up until like 8 p.m. on Wednesday. So hopefully that makes sense. My camera battery is dying, so I need to actually go switch that out, and then we will start this challenge. Okay, battery is switched out. I'm going to get a 24-hour timer ready to go. I'm not gonna start it until I actually start reading a book but i am going to show you guys kind of what i'm planning on reading the book i physically have is persuasion by jane austen i want to read this because the new film is coming out in july and i just thought why not try to read this um now i do have an audiobook for it i feel like that will be a little bit easier like while i'm going on my walks and stuff i can just listen to this so hopefully that'll work out and then the books that i like i'm actually going to read I have on digital yesterday i randomly started to decide or i randomly decided to start the addicted to you series and i read the first book i read the first book yesterday and i'm currently on ricochet and i love it so much um i guess this will also be me kind of talking about those books if you're interested in the addicted to me or addicted to you a Callaway sister like series because I know so many people are obsessed with it and I fell into pressure on reading it when I saw it for like $4.99 on Apple Books so yeah those are the books I'm gonna read I am so excited I feel like the Ricochet or I feel like the addicted to you series is gonna be such a fast read for me so I'm actually probably gonna just start reading this now and start my timer 742 so oh my gosh I'm gonna start it and let's get into it. Guys, I just finished Ricochet. I really enjoyed it. Um, let me see how long I have left. 22, or 22 hours, 26 minutes, and some seconds. So I already finished my first book, which makes me feel really good. I am going to start the next one. I'm pretty sure I read Addicted for now next. Cause I think I read the first three of the Addicted series and then I go to Callaway series. So I'm going to start that. Okay, yeah, this says Addicted 1, Addicted 2, Addicted 3, then you do the Callaway Sisters, then you go back to the Addicted series, then you finish up the Callaway Sisters. So I am just going to start reading this. I think this is the longest one so far. So. I'm just gonna start. I should update. I feel like I need to vlog more just that way you guys are actually like getting content. It is currently 11 17. I kind of took a short break and just went on TikTok for a little bit. Um, and I was like literally laughing out loud. Actually, on Tuesdays, I usually hang out with my friends Feline and Leah, and we definitely stay up later than 11. So I feel like right now I'm doing okay. I, of course, I yawn now let me keep on reading i don't remember if i said but i'm on addicted for now um i'm on page 166 out of 389 so 43 percent through the book i'm thinking i want to try to maybe finish this and then i'm going to probably like wash my face brush my teeth like kind of like put like all my acne stuff on that way it's like kind of like a night routine but I won't be going to bed obviously I'm gonna keep on reading I probably won't vlog until later um but yeah all everybody's asleep in my household and that's just weird because I'm never I'm usually like the first person to sleep so it's weird to be the last one to be asleep anyways bye okay Guess what time it is? It is 1.53 in the morning. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I think this is the latest I've stayed up like by myself um, since like high school. So pretty impressive. I did finish the third book and honestly I'm feeling a little like worn out from the Addicted series. Not that it's bad, it's just like 
a lot right now. So I'm gonna rate the third one really quick. Next book I would start is The Callaway Sisters and it's Rose and Connor. So I'm excited for that because I feel like I've seen lots of like TikToks specifically about Connor and like I like him from the first three books but I'm interested to see like how he is in his own romance if that makes sense. I'm getting a little bit tired but I don't want to take my energy drink or I don't want to drink my energy drink yet because I just feel like I'm not at the point. So I don't really know what to do. I kind of want to like play sims and just listen to persuasion. I feel like I look tired. Um, so kind of like multitasking a little bit um, just because I feel like I feel like I just need to do this. I'm like do people when they do the 24 hour read challenges do they actually read for the full 24 hours or do they do they take like hour breaks here and there i'm just wondering and like do i lose if i sleep for a portion of that time because it's like i can't actually read for a full 24 hours it's more like how many books can i read in 24 hours that just past 18 hours left and I've already read two books so I'm like I could probably sleep and still read two books tomorrow I don't know anyways that's just my rambling I am not hungry but I feel like I just want to like eat to do something so I'm gonna play sims listen to persuasion on YouTube and I'll get back to you Okay guys, I have to admit something. So it is currently 3.30 in the morning. First off, I'm proud of myself. Listen to Persuasion. I listened to a little over an hour. Also, don't mind the dry shampoo. And that got me to chapter six. So I'm not that far into it just because I was listening. I was listening to it at regular speed because I really want to understand it. And even at one time speed, it was kind of hard, but that's where I'm falling asleep and I just feel like I should maybe get some sleep that way the time that I'm awake is productive because for like the last 30 minutes I've just been on my phone and then I like got ready for bed and then cleaned my room up but I'm not reading so I'm gonna go to bed my alarm is set for 6 a.m. because that's when I normally wake up and I want to stay on that routine that way tomorrow night I'm able to pass out at nine so it's 3 30 which means i'll get like roughly two and a half hours of sleep and i will just talk to you guys in the morning i'll probably i'll do my morning routine and i don't really have time to like read a book during that but i'll listen to persuasion probably and then i will read later but yeah that's that's it i almost made it to being awake for 24 hours because i woke up at six yesterday i guess i i took it like an hour nap so maybe not but anyways i'm gonna go sorry guys i know i think i'm failing this i'm not really sure because i feel like some people do go to sleep in their 24 hour challenges and then some people have the ability to stay up the entire night and i just don't know if i'm there i feel sad because i'm wasting my red bull like i could drink it and that could probably help but i'd rather just be like really focused and like into the books so i'm gonna go sleep tight guys guys it's 10 55 i mean sorry it's 9 55 um yeah that also dry shampoo is still in my hair that's fine but i was going to wake up at six i don't know if i snooze my alarm or like if it it just didn't go off but obviously I'm waking up a little later than I meant to. I'm just going to listen to persuasion while I'm doing my morning routine because I still have to do my morning routine to feel like a good person. So cue the montage.
situation. As you guys saw, this is my third book that I finished within the 24 hour period. Let me, I have five hours left. I could definitely read the Callaway Sisters book in that time, but I'm actually meeting my dad and my two of my younger siblings for like a late lunch. They went and saw Maverick and they were like, let's meet for lunch. So. since I tried to do the 24 hour reading challenge readathon or whatever it's called and I don't really know if I failed or succeeded because I did fall asleep and I only read three books so if you guys want me to try this again I definitely will I want to try to stay at the full 24 hours but like I mentioned I was just at a point where the words weren't making sense so I thought it'd be better to go to bed for two and a half hours but I didn't end up waking up until 9 40 I don't remember but anyways I did read three books and I just kind of want to give a recap of those three books that way you guys know what I thought about them so I started off this little vlog or I started off this video with reading Ricochet which is the second book in the in the addicted to you series and I read it at five stars I really liked it low oh I'm not gonna do spoilers so I just really liked it I like seeing the progression of the relationship and it was fun and cute and then the, the third book in the series but the second book I read in this vlog it for now I read that one and it was so good and then after that I was like mm, I could keep on reading but I want to read my last uh, book for my June TBR and that was Persuasion I listened to this one on audiobook which I'm sure you guys saw like all the time lapses and stuff I will just say that raked up my screen time so much, but I actually genuinely enjoy this book. I rated it five stars. I love Jane Austen, so I'm a little bit biased, but essentially this is just the OG um, second chance romance. It has some sisters. Jane Austen loves writing about sisters, so that was fun to see. And yeah, I, I truly enjoyed it. I thought Anne was such a fun character. I'm really excited to see how Dakota Johnson um, takes her character and puts it on the screen. But yeah, those are the three books I read in this video. I had started reading Funny For Now, or Funny You Should Ask, and I ended up finishing that today, um, but I'm not counting it towards this vlog. And I also rated that one, oh, I rated that one four and a half stars. So all the books that I read slash started in this book, or in this video was really good hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me try to attempt the 24 hour reading challenge um let me know what you guys want to see next and i will see you guys next time peace and love bye guys